Talk to us about yourself. Okay. How did you get into social media? Um, I just look at you, Abby. Yeah. My name is Tony Ogunis. I um, I've been on social media. I mean, okay, if I, if I think of blogging and sort of the beginnings of my social media uh, emergence, I've been blogging. I, I started blogging in 2005. My first blog was in 2005. Wow. Um, a BBC blog. And then my own personal blog followed shortly after, a year after. And then Facebook followed, I think, 2007. Mm. And, um, and then Twitter, 2009. Mm. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. It's, <laughs> How did, how does it feel? I mean, in terms of timing, you know, you, you having to update blogs across platforms. How does it feel? You write this the CNN blog and all of those ones. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. Blogging is is a lot of work as well. Mm. Um, and so, for example, what it has meant is that you know, the more time I spend on Twitter, the less I have to spend on other okay. it's not easy to keep up multiple platforms yeah. at the same time uh, so I've, I've not been active on Facebook mm-hmm. in a while mm-hmm. you know, because it's mostly Twitter now my blog too I should I've been meaning to do a lot more work on it I envy those who are able to keep multiple platforms going and but but you know social media is supposed to be you know you're supposed to constantly engage yeah. that's the whole idea you can't go off you know come back Six months later, um, so I'm I'm still attempting to learn how to you know, to master keeping up multiple platforms okay. going on social media. Yeah. Do you have a blog timetable for yourself? No, at at the moment, no, I don't. But uh, this year, I I I it occurred to me that perhaps I should post daily. You know that for blogging, short posts on a daily basis because mm. it also then helps that people know that you know if I go to this blog, mm. I will find something new. Um, but all of that energy for now goes on Twitter. Um, wow. <laughs> so constant. I mean, so Twitter for me, you know, that is that for me is the combination of my blog. At, you know, my blog ideas end up on Twitter at the moment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, you you made a wonderful presentation uh, that everybody appreciated. Could you tell us a bit about it as in the future of social media in Nigeria? So that was me attempting to just look into the future and see what you know uh, is there a future for social media in Nigeria? Um, and my own personal conclusion is that obviously yes, there is a future for social media. Um, and I I also attempted to make the argument that social media is more about people. Than about platforms, you know, people, platforms come after people. At the heart of social media is people. Uh, so platforms will change, platforms will evolve, you know. But that human need for communication and connection will stay constant, and that is what propels social media. So um, social media is here to stay. We don't know in what forms. We don't know what is going to come after Twitter and after Instagram and stuff. But we know that some, you know, some other uh, other media and platforms would evolve to take her to exploit the human need for connection, and you know I'm eager to I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of that. Uh, I'm eager to see how uh, Nigerians also adapt, you know, to the future of social media, and how we adapt, how we localize content, um, because I think as I explained in this talk, local content is going to be big. Um, so I'm looking forward to how we exploit local content um, and and also of course mobile phones you know will be the future of, of social media so I'm also looking forward to how we take advantage of the mobile revolution okay. for social media okay yes. and then you, you started off as a pharmacist oh. <laughs> you studied pharmacy yes I did I did why are you not practicing well hmm. These things happen. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm, sure I'm not the only person. <laughs> these things, these things happen. Uh, I mean, we meet people all the time. You know, lawyers who end up as fashion designers and all that. Um, but as I always tell people, that a university education, you know, more than anything else, is not supposed to lock you into something. You know, into, into a future. It's supposed to be a platform to actually just stand. You know, it's just a, it's a basic education. To, to enable you to take advantage of whatever opportunities come in the future. You know, so, you know, I would still love to add some value as a pharmacist in mm. some way or the mm. other. You know, but until I find an opportunity to do that, you know, I would take advantage of 
the opportunities that exist at the moment. And that's what I think the purpose of university education is, whether it's in pharmacy or in accountancy or anything, is to educate you to be able to take advantage of, of when I finished pharmacy, there was I, I wasn't on Facebook, I wasn't on Twitter, you know, I wasn't a you know, I, so it's it's but these opportunities have come since then, and I've just learned to take advantage of the opportunities that come my way, you know, and to seek to add value. Are you still suspicious of married people? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So of course the article, the article that um, that makes me that. Um, in which I expressed a certain suspicion, mm. you know, was, you know, men, you know, largely tongue in, tongue in cheek. Okay. Um, so, um, no, I'm not suspicious of <laughs> Thank you yeah, very much. My pleasure. Yeah.